Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It is my yarn adventures the week that was. What have I been up to the past week? Well, I was pretty busy till after Tuesday when we had my big event day and it was all over and done with. So I don't feel like I've got a lot done. Um, I've done some smaller things and continued on with things. So today's video is an update on all the make-along projects that I finished or where I'm at with some of them. And I thought I'd share them and see what you think. So let's get started. First up, Amigurumi Wars 2023. So February has been hosted by Hyena's Toy Box. She has an Etsy store with Amigurumi patterns. I've put a link to her YouTube channel and her Etsy store in the description below for you guys to check out. If you're into Amigurumi, she has some really awesome patterns. Probably I was looking at some of the easier ones for me. Um, and there is also another featured designer, which Anita from YOH Crochet announced today. So I'll put a link to that video. I won't tell you too much about the featured designer. I'll let Anita tell you that. Um, the funny thing about this featured designer is last week when I had a few minutes and was looking through Ravelry, I actually put one of her patterns in my favourites. So there you go. So I've made my first item for February. It's a free pattern and he is called the Valentine's Day Monster. Now I'm not using him for Valentine's Day. There he is with his little hair and his cross eyes and his teeth. I actually want to, I'm making backpack buddies and little items for my um, charity store to sell for Emma's Quest in March. And I made this as a backpack buddy, but I don't know if it's too big. I don't know whether to put a hook on him or a key ring or just leave him as a little toy. I haven't sewn this in because I haven't decided. What do you reckon, guys, if with little people? Is he too big to be a backpack buddy? So the reason I like monsters is I can mess up the eyes and they're still supposed to you know, look okay because they're monsters. But he's pretty cute. It's a free pattern I found on Ravelry called the Valentine's Day Monster. How you make him Valentine's Day is you make a little wooden I love you sign. I don't know if you can see that too well in this light. Um, pattern designer. Oh, there's nothing really except at the bottom. Joanna Bapari. Um, it was translated by Crafted Chocolate Blogspot or something. But I'll put a link to the Ravelry pattern for the Valentine's Day Monster. If you're looking for a little project for Valentine's Day for someone, or you just want to make a monster, like I did. So I'm getting quite the collection for my um, craft store in March to sell all these little backpack buddies and amigurumis because I did really well with them at Christmas and I thought why not do some more so that's my first cow make along cow I've joined amigurumi 2023 which I love you know that second off the ranks is of course bag o day or bod hat ab, hat apple oh, I never get this right a palooza bod hat a palooza with Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, Laura. So this one, I should have written it down, came out, I think it's called Jazzy Pink, something like that, the tutorial. I'll put a link to the tutorial for this hat. I do really like this hat. It was, yet again, a little hard on my hands with all the puff stitch. And um, Crystal used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre with a six millimeter crochet hook. I used um, Spotlights USA Saber and I went down to 5.5 because I wanted a smaller size. Maybe I went down to a 5. I think I went down to a 5 millimeter. Anyway, my hat, the fifth one, well for me six because I made one extra in January, for January. There you go. A lot of detail in it. It is really nice. It is a firm fit, but for me, I wanted a younger um, teen adult size and that turned out really well just by going down a hook size. So yeah, I didn't have the pink. I had apricot because I shopped my stash. So I hope you check this out and give it a go. 
uh, let me know what you think if you've ever made this make along number two so make along number three i have to share with you is how far did i get in january with Soxy Nana's scrappy blanket I'm making. So this blanket is a free pattern also that I'm doing. Webster Street Knittery Lily Scrap Blanket. But that's what it sort of looks like. Mine for January, well, last time I showed you, if I put a progress keeper in, yes, I did. I put the little snowman from Abby. There he is. That's where I showed you. But totally that's what I have done for January. And I thought I'd show you each month. I might not get as much done in February as I did in January. But I usually do a couple of rows of this. I'm an early riser. And while the house is quiet and I'm having coffee in the morning, I do a couple of rows of this each day. But that is my Soxy Nana Scrappy Blanket that she is running for the year on Instagram. So check out all the hashtags and where they are. Everything will be in the description below. And if you remember, this is my magic ball. So that's what the second one. The one I'm currently using is that one. And it's got pink after it next when I finish the red. So I'll move up the progress keeper and you can see at the end of February much, much more I've done on this blanket. This one may only go to June because I, I only make Latgan size so I can donate them to the local charity. They have a set size they want. And I may start another one, a different pattern in June. So the other thing I have done is, I know I like a make along and a cowl and some people go, wow, you do way too many. Well, no, I enjoy them and I've been waiting for this one to start. So this week, Nan's Next Knots, Luck of the Draw number seven started. I've done three, four, five and six. This will be my fifth one, number seven. Now, this is my whip card with all the different greens that don't look very different, but they are. There is a slight difference. I had a lot of this yarn in my... Um, yarn stock so I shop my stash for this particular make along and for a pattern I am well I'm using a 3.57 3.75 millimeter crochet hook all the yarn I have recommends a four but I've gone down a size because I want it to be a bit denser and the pattern I am using is a bag of day tutorial called Ocean Waves. Um, I know Raylene, one of the subscribers, mentioned it in one of her comments last video. Hi, Raylene. And yeah, I um, have started it. So this is the base colour. This will go between every row. And luck of the draw, seven. First number out, number seven. And there you go. That. I really like this. I think it's a one row repeat. It's really easy to do and it looks really nice. So that is my lap gown for luck of the draw seven and mainly going to be all these different bluey greens. What do you think? That's pretty nice. So I'm really excited about that. I do enjoy luck of the draw. Just having a card of um, yarns picked out and someone else picked the next color is really a lot of fun so the other thing i've been doing is because i'm not doing a charity stall in february i decided i would revamp my etsy shop um, as my son said to get back into the algorithms of etsy and i've made another little tea cozy because these one cup tea cozies are really popular. I made this with some scrap birch yarn. It just has a colour number. Birch is like an Australian. It's an eight ply. It's acrylic. So the idea being that I will put two of these little different, obviously different colours together as a duo, which is how I normally sell them on Etsy, and have them out there ready as gifts for Mother's Day. So yeah, I'm making a couple of these little tea cozies. This particular pattern 
is my pattern, the Gift of Love Knitted Tea Cozy that I did last year, year before. And um, the one on the, my pattern that's for sale is for a bit much bigger pot and the tutorial I have is a much bigger pot. But I just went down a size in knitting needles, cast on less and did less rows. Um, if anyone wants to do the small one, um, shoot me an email and I'll put together um, a basic list of how much I cast on, how many rows I did, and yeah, see how you go. But that's as an eight ply three weight tea cozy. So that is pretty much all the things I did this week. I have been valiantly trying to work on a big knitting project. And every time I do the second row, and there's a lot of rows to it, I make a mistake and have to frog it back. I'm not getting very far at all with it. And it is frustrating me because I think it's because I'm trying to do it when I'm tired. So maybe I should set it aside and just do something easy like, my scrap blanket Ta -da! that might be the idea so guys i hope you've had a great week i had a pretty good week um the event we organized tuesday went off pretty well there's always a few hiccups and i got some lovely flowers from one of my bosses um a couple of days later thanking me saying how they appreciate the work i do and how challenging they know how challenging it can be um, because believe me, it's like herding cats some days at these awards ceremonies. Anyway, until next week, this probably won't get uploaded till probably Monday morning because the internet is really bad again. We've got lots of rain, so much humidity, it's unbearable outside. So yeah, let's hope by the time it does actually get uploaded, it is only Monday and not Tuesday. So... Until next time, stay safe, stay well, take care of your family. And you could try a hat from Bag of Day. She has so many and they are so good. And her tutorials are so easy to follow. Bye for now.